In today's experiment, we will determine the resolving power of this telescope. To do so, we have mounted a slit, rather two slits, on the sodium vapor lamp. Uh, the aim of this experiment would be to find out the minimum aperture on the telescope which will be able to resolve these two objects as separate. We will mount this calibrated slit onto the telescope to find out the minimum aperture which will show the objects as separate. As you can see, the calibrated slit has a one year scale on which the readings go from 0 to 100. And if you look at the main scale, you will observe that the smallest division on the main scale is half a millimeter. So the least count becomes 0.5 centimeters divided by 100 or 0 0.05 this calibrated slit is mounted on the telescope vertically. And gradually the aperture is opened to determine the smallest size which will be able to show the two slits as separate. Let's see if we can see the two apertures through the telescope. You can see the two lights, two lines which are visible through the, micro, through the telescope. Perfect. You can see the two lines which are visible through the telescope and you are also able to observe a beautiful Fraunhofer diffraction pattern where you see the maximas surrounded by black lines which indicate the minimas. The resolving power is given as A by D where A is the size of the aperture and D is the capital, uh, capital D is the distance between the source and the telescope which is measured with the help of measuring tape. To determine the distance between the two lines, that is small d, we use this traveling microscope. This is the same microscope which we have used in Newton ring experiment. So you can see the main scale over here. This is the one year scale. The main scale moves using this particular knob. And as you have seen before, the smallest division on the main scale is half a millimeter. Total number of divisions on the vanier scale are 50. So the least count turns out to be 0 0.01 millimeters.